let's consider how the answer solver will solve our mathematical model for us using the finite element method. And in this discussion, I will invoke concepts that we looked at in the big ideas in FEA. So I'm moving from talking about the mathematical model. So we know that our mathematical model is a boundary value problem. Uh, so I'm moving from talking about that to talking about the numerical solution strategy. So we have to divide, divide the domain into elements and nodes. So we have a rectangular domain here, and we divide it into nine little chunks. Each little chunk is called an element. So here I've highlighted one element. And the corners would be, you know, I would call them the nodes. So I'll say these are the nodes. By the way, you know, when we are in the answers solver, it will also put in the mid-side nodes. We'll get to that when we are in answers. Um, for now, let's think of the nodes as just the corners of each element. And then we reduce the problem to determining temperature only at the nodes. Here I have 16 nodes, four times, you know, four, four rows of these. So I have 16 nodes. So I'm going from determining temperature everywhere, so needing to determine a two-dimensional function to determining 16 temperature values. And that's a big simplification, and that's, you know, that's the advantage of discretization. And to use polynomial interpolation to relate temperature within an element to the nodal temperatures. If I want to know what's the temperature there, I would interpolate between these four values. In the 1D case, you know, we were interpolating along a line. Now we have to interpolate within an area. So the interpolation is more complicated. Um, it's a, it'll be a bilinear interpolation in this case, but the idea is the same. I think of this as, you know, this value is a weighted average of these four values. And the weights for each of these values is given by the so-called shape function for those of you who have seen shape functions. And now that, you know, we know that we need to determine only a discrete number of values, um, let's think about how the, um, the solver will determine the those those discrete values of temperature <laughs> 